What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. Actually, welcome back to my car, Ryan Snelling and I. If you guys don't know this guy, please go subscribe. Ryan, tell me, what do you have on the YouTubes and the podcasts? Because you have a lot of stuff going on, man. Austin, I'm talking about <laughs> pop culture. I'm recapping TV. I'm reviewing movies. We got a music podcast Ooh. every Friday. We are killing it at Sight & Sound. Uh, you can check out the podcast feed, YouTube channel. I play Fortnite on Twitch now. <laughs> I am trying to knock out every facet of pop culture, oh. and we're doing that at Sight and & Sound. And if you guys want to follow any of his things, I will have them all in the link in the description. If you're a Collider fan, he does the Collider, the after show, so that's pretty cool. Collider Afterthoughts, movie talk, podcast feed. We just went and watched Mission Impossible Fallout. I am so excited to talk about it. If you guys don't know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. Ryan, let's get right into it, man. What's how up? pumped were you? when you walked out of this movie theater um yeah, we talked about it on the way out when i am super excited i'm kind of stunned it's like someone threw a stun grenade at me <laughs> tom cruise threw a stun grenade at me yeah i was i was speechless i was just kind of soaking it all up because my favorite thing to do mm. is get emotionally involved whether yeah. it's scared whether it's whether it's weeping in my seat if my body tenses up and i put my hands over my head or over my face <laughs> A movie automatically has done its job mm. uh, if it gets an emotional reaction. Yeah. And, and I already love this franchise, but it elicited so much of an emotional response mm. that you and I walked parallel outside on the carpet and I couldn't even look at you. <laughs> we had that 20 to 30 seconds like, all right, we just watched this movie, we had to process it. But it's not in a bad way because there's so much God, going no. on with Fallout. And that's one of the small issues I had with Rogue Nation, even though I think it's a fantastic movie. There's a lot going on, there's a lot to digest. There's a lot going on here, but I feel like it flows even better than the previous. And you look at a director like Chris McQuarrie, who directed the last film, I think the guy continues to get better as a director. He brought us some of the best action scenes, Straight up hand-to-hand -hand combat action scenes I have seen I'll say this decade and the bathroom fight I know we talked about in the review that we just did for your channel go check that out by the way but the bathroom fight is so yeah. fantastically choreographed it's a smaller scale than I expected from the trailer but what Henry Cavill and Tom Cruise does in that scene man and the sound effects Ryan oh my god so freaking good. So I, I can't wait to go back and revisit this movie because there's just so much good to soak in. And we'll get to my, I have a few minor negatives in the next portion of this video, but right now I just want to talk about how good of a director Chris McQuarrie is. Do you want to see him back, Ryan, for another Mission Impossible movie? It, it's so, it's hard to decide because again, I'm, I'm still very emotional about this. So like we, we were talking about it before, Mission Impossible, we know that they go from movie to movie and they do a different director every time. Yeah. And this was the first time that we had a director return. Yes. And he certainly did not overstay his welcome. And I don't know when you're going to do your Mission Impossible ranked, but he might have just given us the best Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> so it's it's hard to dis it's hard to say that yeah, he should just move on to something else. We should bring in another director and have it be, you know, I, I don't know. I yeah. I, any random guy versus uh Christopher McQuarrie who has he, he's he he could retire. Like that's <laughs> the only justification for him to not come back is for him to retire and just walk away yeah. on this high note. Otherwise, I am not going to complain at all. <laughs> well, that's what I said earlier. This is the best straight-up action movie I've seen since Mad Max Fury Road. They're two very different movies, very different kinds of action, sure. and especially a different story. But Chris McQuarrie, it's one of the things that I have to... I'm so conflicted on the inside because I want him to return, yet I love the fact that we can bring in different directors to this franchise because some franchises do that, and they don't always work. But for some reason, and the only movie that I don't like out of this franchise is Mission Impossible 2, so you can probably guess where that's going to be in my ranking. But I do believe that it's good to keep the consistency and the flow going, yet I want to see some fresh faces. Now, I want to get into the action real quick, Ryan. What was your favorite action scene without going into specifics or spoilers? Uh, that's It's incredibly difficult because all of them were so different. They're all different kinds. The, the variety of action was really, really great. Yeah. Um, and it, I think what what was really great about this is that a car chase would happen and you know a typical movie would there would be a, a moment of levity and a little bit of relief and then they'd move on to a couple of dialogue scenes but there were some back to back <laughs> car chase sequences no time to breathe. and again it, it 
this movie, it, it again, there's no point where it feels like it overstays its welcome. So yeah. even though it doubles down on car chase scenes in France, it it it's just welcoming. Like I I just love it, and I can't keep my eyes off of it. But uh, the final action sequence, the climax, that was Ooh. the scene that threw my hands up over my face and it, there was just something special about all of them i think the best fight scene might have still been the bathroom scene yes uh when i watched this trailer i remember thinking i feel like i've seen every bit of stunt work in the trailer um it, so it's funny how early that bathroom scene kind of happens because <laughs> you're like this movie has that much more left to do yeah. like i thought that was going to be part of the climax yeah. And that happens so quickly, and there's still a ton left. It set itself up for something that I, I'm not going to say didn't pay off. It's kind of like you think about Ghost Protocol. It's got, okay, you got the big skyscraper scene in the middle. Can you really remember? The, and I like the movie, but there's not a lot of memorable scenes other than that one scene, right? Well, in Mission Impossible Fallout, you have the bathroom scene. You have the end scene. You have the helicopter scene. You have the car chases. There are so... And, and a lot that I didn't even mention. Some great Tom Cruise running. I love when Tom Cruise is running in a movie. putting his hands. Man, there are it's so awesome. many good shots. It's like the director is like, I'm going to get some great Tom Cruise running <laughs> shots. And we're going to put those on the internet as means after this. I, I thought it worked so well. Now, there's a lot of things that I love about this movie and I don't want to keep preaching on it because I'll talk more in my Mission Impossible rankings and if you want to see more of our thoughts please go watch the review on Ryan's channel but uh, I, I like to talk about the bad too in my reviews. Did you have any issues whether they're minor or major in the plot or the story or just anything that happened in the movie? Right now I, I, I would really have to reach uh, to complain. <laughs> I think I think there are peaks and valleys with some of the action sequences, so I'm not saying that they blew their load early, but if you look from fight scene to fight scene, maybe some of the earlier stuff is better than some of the later stuff. I agree with that. Um, but again, and I don't want to spoil anything, but there's also a million other factors, so maybe maybe there are other fight sequences that don't have to be as good because yeah. everything else going on. Uh, I, I don't know. I thought the, the pacing was great. Yes. Uh, yes. It, it's really hard for me right now. And again, I, I'm so emotional. Um, it's really hard for me to pinpoint things that I didn't particularly like. It, it was just very well balanced. Yeah. Uh, I'd really have to think about it. Um, maybe I'll figure it out by the time I do some in-depth discussion. But It's definitely a movie that you have to revisit. I'm 100% I'm going and watching this again. And by the way, I'm going to throw this in. You have to see this movie in a theater. You yeah. absolutely have to because it's just warranted. And the fact that it's directed so well and the sound effects and the music, it all comes together. But since we're talking negatives, I have three that I can think of. One, I thought <laughs> I, I, they're, they're, very, they're mi very minor, wow. very minor. But just off the top of my head, one, I think Henry Cavill was really good. He was a fantastic fantastic especially in the acting uh, the action scenes yeah but from an acting standpoint I don't think he blew me away now his character was very straight faced and he didn't do a lot but when there are things happening in the movie and he he makes certain I don't want to spoil too much he wasn't as good as I expected him to be and that's not like a major negative I was just thinking in my head wow I Henry Cavill's really good. I, it's just hard for him to keep up with people like Simon Pegg or Tom Cruise. That's not horrible. Uh, now, my second thing is there's a reveal. There are about five or six reveals in this movie that worked so well for me, but there's one that I saw coming. And I always, I don't like that in a movie, but we talked about it earlier. It's not integral if you see it coming and it's not going to ruin your experience because it, it comes, what, halfway through the movie? So it's yeah. not that big of a deal. And at the beginning, there's an exposition dump just of all kinds of information, Kinda, yeah. you know, and that's You're scene, talking about in the opening? In, in the opening. So at least, though, at least we got it out of the way. That's true. That's true. And it was the main beginning, so it didn't really harm. Yeah. It got off to like, okay, is this what's going to happen? But I, there was nothing else through there. Everything flowed so well. The story was so good, and the dialogue is yeah. what really, the dialogue in Fallout may be some of the best dialogue we've seen in any of the Mission Impossible movies. So Ryan, we're going to wrap this up. Do you have any closing thoughts, remarks, or just anything else you want to talk about this movie? I, I just think that this is a masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, we already had one of the best action franchises of all time. Yeah. This might be the best one. I think it transcends cinema in a way that this is definitely going to be the best of the year. Yeah. One of the best of the year. Yeah. Um, it's just in another cosmic level, I, I told you this uh, in the other in the other thing. Uh, I didn't see Infinity War twice. I, I have to see this twice. Oh, I like that, man. That's a tough call. So, yeah. Ryan, I do ratings. Okay. Um, I do percentages. So, from zero to one hundred, what are you going to give this movie? And we don't have to tell anybody because I know you know. 
Um, I mean, I'm, I'd give it a 100. Uh, Woo! Yeah, it's just right Woo! now, right now e even, <laughs> even when I decide, so even when I decide that there might be something I don't like about the movie, yeah. maybe in a second viewing, it, I'm never going to forget the emotional response. Mm. And that's what I always think about. Mm. Uh, so even if I'm like, okay, maybe the villain wasn't that great yep. or maybe, maybe Cavill's <laughs> character could have been written better. Yeah. I, I, I cannot ignore how I felt walking out yeah. because that, that told me that I just experienced something that doesn't come along very Boom. often in cinema. So right now I'm riding high. Uh, even if I decide that it's maybe not perfect, what am I going to say? It's 96. It's still, it's yeah. still incredible. Dude, that is, that is freaking awesome. Uh, I've been thinking about this since we walked out of the movie right now. I'm going to go 92%, uh, yeah. which is one of the highest grades I've given all year. So, so we'd still <laughs> say like, if it was a letter grade, we would both have A's. Oh, 100. Yeah. We're, we're both at an A level and that's how good this movie is from yeah. an action standpoint, from a writing standpoint. It is literally an action movie that is going to define the decade. When you think back of the 2010s, you're going to think, this film, this film, and Mission Possible Fallout. Yeah. So many good practical effects. Ryan, thank you so much for being on this channel. I want to keep talking about this movie. Where can the people <laughs> find you? We've already talked about it, but just anything else you want to tell them? Uh, Twitter and Instagram at WhatUpSnell. And again, check out the site and sound. Mm, go in the links in the descriptions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You are the absolute best. This weekend, I'm going to be ranking my Mission Impossible movies from, what? what is it now, six movies? Six from of them? Six to yeah. one. I can't believe it. And uh, if you guys can't tell, Fallout's going to be pretty high on that list. You guys are the absolute best, and I'll catch you later.